Okay, here's an update on the high voltage slash singing art project. I've been tinkering around with this, and sorry for the direct camera upload and holding the camera without a tripod. I'm now using this rather beefy transformer to power the flyback. And when this is rectified and smoothed through this capacitor board here and the diode rectifier on the transformer, I get about 23 volts out of it. And I'll just shut the door so I don't bother mum with my continuous rambling. I have two, count them, two MOSFETs on the heatsink. They seem to be able to switch in sync, which is another good good thing. Got a resonant capacitor there, which was also there in the previous project as well. It looks as if the drains on both the um, MOSFETs aren't connected together, but in fact they are, because the metal case of the MOSFET is also the drain, so it's connecting through the heatsink. And with all that, I do get a bigger arc. I've got about an inch now. I'll just turn on the power supply. I've got the meter to measure the current. We're about 140 milliamps right now. I'll just switch hands with the camera. And bring the two wires together that are on the transformer. That's about an inch long now. I can actually see the heat shimmering off that. That's why I'm holding this wire here so it doesn't get too hot. Yeah, but I've got about an inch long arc there. Now let's try to make it play music. I've got my tape recorder connected up to the um, 555 so to modulate it. Still not got much volume. But I think you can hear it. Drawing about one and a half amps. Anyway, I'm sure the, if that's copyrighted under Sony or whatever, they'll probably even nab me for that, so I'm not going to play that too long. I guess some editing is going to be in order now. I'll change the transformer for this one, which gives out higher voltage, not as much current, but... Still, let's just turn the amp meter on. Can't measure how much voltage we've got because the battery's died in my other meter. I only put a new one in there a couple of weeks ago, and I haven't used it that much, so I don't know why it's gone dead, but... I've got about, I don't know, maybe almost 30 volts now. Now let's turn it on, see what kind of an arc we get. Just look at the size of it now. Okay, better not play too much of that. Don't know if that's under Warner or anything. Still idling, we have about 220 milliamps. Arcing. Help if I shine it in the camera. We're at about 2 amps. Just over 2 amps. I'm going to try this with one more transformer, that one over there. OK, 
Okay, I've got this transformer now connected up to the rectifier and the smoothing capacitors. Gives about 36, about 37 volts. I'm now going to turn the oscillator on and see what current draw we get. Okay, 26 milliamps, I mean 260 milliamps in the arc. It is quite big. I'm drawing about 2.2 um, amps. It's a pretty good arc I've got going there. Not as big as the one SM7CA um, or whoever it was would did, but let's put music through it again. Just stop it wobbling about, we get a more constant stream of sound. And anyway, I better turn it off before the MOSFETs burn themselves out. Although I don't really think ones of that size will burn out very easily. And that's about it for now. So until next time, goodbye. I've got to get this edited and I cannot use the YouTube editor because I cannot make unmistered videos. If I was to upload this onto YouTube right now, You'd see a lot of video clips. Anyway, guess that's it for now. Until next time, goodbye.